Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about how Hobbit plays the A rotate position as well as how he holds short A on Dust 2. So let's get started. So the first thing is, at the start of the round, you typically want to help towards long A. So whether you're the first spawn, second spawn, or third spawn, you're going to do what you can with your team to help secure long A at the start. And the focus of this video isn't really on the specifics of how to hold long at the start of the round, so I'm not really going to go into too much detail. But what we are going to focus on is after you secure towards this long area, what do you do towards the CT spawn area? Now something that Hobbit likes to do when he comes back towards the CT spawn area is to actually jump spot with the mall top like this, where he's jump spotting just over the box to see if T's are creeping out towards mid. And at the same time, he's hitting his head against something on the wall to ensure that he doesn't expose himself too much. And for a T who's creeping out towards mid, this is what that jump spot might look like. Now when you throw this small top, you want it to land inside the doors. And basically by throwing it inside the doors, you're forcing the T's to either peek you or to actually fall back behind the doors towards the T side of middle. And by having the small top up, it also allows you to go close up towards mid like this. And the T's, they may not be expecting it if they decide to try to re-clear mid. And something to just watch out for when you throw the small top is that the T may be closer than you expect, so just make sure you have your gun out as well. Now something to be aware of as well is that when you do come back towards the CT spawn area, there may be a chance that the T's decide to just go up towards mid B, and in this case, even if you throw the small top, this isn't going to stop their push. So what are your options in this situation? So after throwing the small top, it depends on which smoke they throw for the mid B split. So if they throw only the bottom one, there's actually a chance for you to go on top of this box here to try to see over the smoke and hopefully find a kill. Alternatively, if you're close enough, you could jump on the boxes on the right side here and peer over the smoke. And this will only work if they haven't thrown the second smoke that lands on top of this box as well. Or if the T's actually decide to delay the push a little bit, you may get into this position here where you can pull off this play, where as soon as they throw the double smokes, you can throw a ball top at the center as well as the smoke on the right to give yourself a pathway to actually make a play through the smoke. And you can see that with the smoke, it gives them sufficient cover to make this play. And lastly, there is the option to do a bit of team play here, where either you or your teammate could throw this flash through the smokes to allow the other to actually make a play through it and hopefully find a kill. Now, if it's a bit more of a typical round where the T's aren't aggressing up mid B right away, you may want to take a bit more of an aggressive stance here towards mid instead of jump spotting with the Molotov, and this is an angle that Hobbit likes to use a lot. And the main reason for this is because this angle is actually a one way for the CTs. So if we look at this angle carefully, from the CT's point of view, he can see the legs of the T before the T has a chance of being able to see the CT at all. And that's why Hobbit likes to use this angle. And in addition, if the T's decide to throw the longer mid B smoke, the one that's thrown from outside the doors, by being close, it gives you the option to actually push past the smoke and get information and not necessarily be trapped behind that smoke. And doing this can be extremely valuable for your team. So by pushing past the smoke, you're able to get information on whether the T's are actually coming out towards mid, and this benefits the B players the most. As you can see here, you see that because Hobbit has this mid area held down, his B players can simply just focus on holding towards B and not have to worry about towards middle. As the A rotate player, it's really common that the T's are going to rush up towards catwalk, and if you have utility, the best place to place it is just in front of the site towards that elbow position. It doesn't really matter specifically which utility it is, just as long as it's something that's going to make their jobs a little bit more difficult capturing the site. Now if you're in a position where you don't have any utility, you may just want to try to pick the T's as they're crossing towards this elbow position. And how Hobbit usually likes to do this is he likes to go along this left side of the CT ramp area, and then try to pick them as they're crossing over towards the site. Alternatively, what you could also do as well, depending on the smokes that they throw, is to actually use the smokes as cover to allow yourself to scale up towards this ramp position and then pick them as they're actually crossing into the site. So this is very dependent on exactly which smokes the T's throw. To illustrate what I mean, you can see that when the T's throw the three exact smokes for a catwalk, you can basically run all the way up from the CT ramp to the A ramp without being seen because the smokes actually cover you. So in general, don't be afraid to kind of creep up along this left side of the CT ramp area and use the T's smokes against them. And just always be aware of the possibility that the T's could spawn drop, so whenever you're rotating up towards the A site, just be ready for this possibility. And lastly, if you're in a position where you've already given up the A site, something you can do to help facilitate the retake and to give yourself space to work up is actually drop the smoke in the middle of the CT ramp. Once you're here, the smoke is going to provide you cover, and you can also get your teammate to throw what's known as the window flash to allow you to try to scale up towards the ramp area. This flash gives you a lot of space because it blinds the people who are towards elbow as well as towards the site, and allows you to get here towards this ramp position where then you can take more favorable fights towards the site. 
as well just want to show what this flash looks like so the window flash isn't really too exact it just needs to land inside this window on the right wall and this is a good flash to use for retaking so if somebody's posted up towards ramp here he's gonna get blinded if he's playing more towards the site where he looks at ramp he's also gonna get blinded and lastly if he's playing here towards his elbow position looking down towards ct or towards long this flash is very effective for that too now despite being the A rotate player, every once in a while you may actually want to start the round off at catwalk. And by starting the round off at catwalk, it gives you more options to be aggressive towards catwalk as well as middle. So here's an example where Hobbit is going to be more aggressive towards top mid. To do this, he's going to use utility to block lower. So here you're going to see he's going to throw a nade as well as a molotov to prevent anybody from being able to peek him from lower B. And this opens up space to allow him to peek towards top mid. So here you're going to see that he has the space to top mid because of that utility that he threw at lower B. He can fully focus on trying to kill the player at middle. And as well, if it's possible, it's always a good idea to get your teammate to boost you up catwalk if you plan to make an aggressive play here towards this catwalk mid area. And that's because you want to take advantage of the additional timing that you're going to get on the tees if they decide to go up fast cat. And if there's an Xbox smoke, you also don't have to worry about lower either. Now more typically, Hobby isn't necessarily going to be aggressing towards top mid a lot of the time. He's just going to be here towards this catwalk position. And you might ask, why even play in this catwalk area if you're not planning on contesting top mid? And the reason for this is because catwalk is such an important area of dust too that you don't want to let the T's take it for free. So you want to make sure you keep them honest. You want to make sure that they actually use utility when they take towards catwalk. So that's why Hobbit here, he's here basically contesting with utility and just making sure that if the T's do want to take catwalk, they have to use utility to be able to take it. And from time to time as well with the smoke, He's going to try to play behind it and try to use it as a way to re-aggress. So here, for example, you're going to see that Hobbit's going to push down with that smoke. Sometimes the smoke is going to produce gaps along the edges, which he's able to take advantage of. Or sometimes he may actually try to phase the smoke like this to try to take down the players who are sitting behind it. And lastly, he may actually have a teammate nearby who has a flash ready. And basically, as soon as the smoke starts to fade, he's going to get his teammate to flash to allow him to clear towards this catwalk position. So by basically having the smoke up, this is a great way for you to re-aggress catwalk. So not only to make it hard for the T's to take it, but also to actually put them in a position where they might need to retake it to ensure that they actually get catwalk control. Just remember though that after you get a kill towards this catwalk era and re-establish that you're going to be fighting for catwalk, you don't always have to hold on to it. If the T's haven't actually taken towards long, there is the option to just simply give up catwalk and to actually retake long. As you can see here with Gambit, after getting that kill towards catwalk, they're all going to fall back and retake towards this long position, and then Hobbit's going to reset back to the CG spawn area. And as well, don't be afraid to use your utility at catwalk to buy yourself some time to help your teammate at long if he actually needs it. As you can see here with Hobbit, he throws that Molotov down to try to assist his teammate a little bit, and just as the Molotov expires, he's back here towards this catwalk air to try to maintain control of it. So don't be afraid to use your utility in this way to kind of help contain that map control without you actually needing to be there. Now from this catwalk position, you may decide to actually play a little bit further back, so more towards the site slash ramp area. And this is really common to see Hobbit do this, especially when the other team is saving, just to make sure that you get those long range engagements and you can't die too easily. And especially if you have a teammate already towards that car position, it's very hard for them to break this setup. Now when Hobbit plays this ramp position, he usually likes to hold either a smoke or a molotov. And this is to deny the possibility of any catwalk pushes in the event that his teammate is rotating back towards the A site through CT spawn. And if you do this, it makes it difficult for the T's to actually push while the rotation is happening. And this allows you to kind of set up where you think the hit will actually be. You can either go over towards long if you think it's going to be a delayed long take, or you can go over towards goose if you think it's going to be some type of catwalk execute. And if it is a catwalk execute, if you have a flash, this is a great flash to use when you're playing this goose position. Basically, you just aim it up at the tree, and you'll be able to catch players who are trying to cross over towards this elbow position. However, just keep in mind that if you are playing this goose position without a flash, there is the chance that instead of coming up towards the A site, they may do a spawn drop, and if they do a bit of a spawn drop mid B type of take, you're not going to have much impact from goose. So what you may want to consider from time to time is that when the T's throw that brick smoke is to actually just aggress this elbow position right away. And by aggressing this position right away, you can get information on whether the T's are actually pushing up. Because if they aren't, there's a pretty good chance that they're probably going to do a mid B. And you can relay that information to your teammates at B so they're at least ready for it. Now the last thing I want to touch on is what do you do if the T's actually have long A control. So there's two options. So if you are playing on this catwalk position, you want to do as much as you can to try to hold catwalk and maybe even aggress towards this middle position. And this is to be able to create an avenue for you to actually be able to retake because if you lose catwalk as well, it's impossible to retake. 
Now, if you've been able to secure this catwalk in middle position, like Gambit do here, where they actually have players pushing up from lower B, the second option is to actually try to fight them as they cross over. And one really good way to do this is to actually use this smoke here towards elbow and try to work around the edges of it. As you can see here with Hobbit, as they cross over towards the site, he's basically able to take fights along the edges of the smoke and basically fade into the smoke whenever he needs cover. Now if you're towards the CT spawn area, the best thing you can do is try to delay the long crossing as much as possible with your utility. And you want to do this to make sure that your teammates can react on the other sides of the map. So if they have to push towards tunnels or secure catwalk, you want to make sure you give them as much time possible to be able to do that. And the second thing is that you want to get information on when they're exactly crossing towards the site. You can see here that Hobbit, he's just spamming just a little bit to try to listen for any tags. And if you can hear a tag, then it's a pretty good sign that they're probably crossing towards the site. And once you know that they've crossed towards the site, you can then set up for your retake. That's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe for more future content. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.